Welcome back, you gorgeous weirdos. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So I was inspired. I was sitting out on my patio in my hammock and I saw this gorgeous monarch butterfly and I'm like, I need to do something butterfly-esque, but butterflies are hard to do freehand. They're so symmetrical and so detailed. I'm like, I am not Bob Ross. I am not gonna paint a little butterfly on my nails. So we're gonna do some abstract-ish. <laughs> monarch butterfly nails and I made them glow in the dark which is even more amazing you guys have to wait wait until the end and check out the glow I am shooketh so I'm gonna do the gel press ombre method with dip powder this is the easiest ombre I've ever done in my life, the press ombre method I'm gonna start by taking this lighter shade of dip powder this one is by Model Ones. It's not the glow. The other orange back there, that's the glow. That's the magic. And what I'm going to do is just press in that peach into the semi-cured dip. Um, that's not dip. That's gel. <laughs> gel base coat. You can absolutely do this with dip liquids if you want to. Then once I have the peach in there, I'm going to go in and ombre up the neon orange this one is from sassy mouth her entire neon collection glows in the dark it is sickening if you guys want to check that out i am an affiliate for sassy mouth so if you want to use my affiliate code get 10 percent off you'll be helping me out too <laughs> i'll leave everything linked down below for you guys so once i have those two colors ombre i'm going to cure the rest of the way i only did a 10 second flash cure on that gel base and I'm gonna do the rest of the time, I'm gonna put it in for 30 seconds because I'm not gonna keep track of 20 seconds on my lamp. So I'm gonna care for another 30 seconds, get that all set. I'm gonna dust off excess and go in with coat number two. I did apply another coat of the gel base. Now again, I'm gonna press in those powders and create this little ombre. This is so easy to do, y'all. If you have struggled with ombre dip powder, you want, you're going to want to try this one. Even if you don't, if you want to use your gel liquids, what you're going to do is dip into the or um, the peachy shade first. Once that's set a little bit, then you can scrub in that deeper neon orange color. It'll give you the same exact effect, so you don't need to use gel. So once I got the two coats done, I'm going to go ahead and cure for a full 30 seconds, dust off excess, and then I'm going to encapsulate with gel base coat. That's just going to make sure that the ombre effect doesn't go anywhere when we're doing art or if you guys are filing or buffing, that'll just act as an encapsulation layer. I do not recommend using clear dip powder when you're using gel liquids. The two just don't play well. It's gonna look grainy, it's gonna look cloudy, it's gonna look weird. So use the gels to encapsulate if you're doing gel. Now, this is optional, but I like to do my nail art over a matte surface. So I'm gonna go in with my Dipalicious Matte Gel Top Coat and matte out the entire nail. If you don't care about doing art on a matte surface, you can skip this step. We're going to use the matte gel top coat a little bit later though. So once I have that on, I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And now we're ready for nail art. This is going to be so much fun. This is so easy to do. I'm going to take black gel polish and my Beatles liner brush. And I'm just going to create little swoopy lines with the black. And that's really all there is to it. We're gonna make it a little abstract in a little bit with some white dots going through the black, but that's really as easy as it is. Just with one line, you can already start getting Monarch vibes. So you don't need to do something crazy, detailed and intricate to have it look like real nail art or to have it look like a realistic butterfly type effect. But if you wanna draw butterflies on your nails, who am I to tell you how to live your life? draw all the butterflies you can use butterfly stamps butterfly stickers whatever you guys want to do but this just looks so freaking cool and i i i mean i saw it right away i had to send it to like three other people and be like what do you see in this tell me you see my vision and they, they all did so i guess it, it was a win but you guys will have to let me know down below and if you made it to this point in the video comment down below a butterfly emoji so I know who's watching the videos. So anyway, I'm going to continue making my lines. I'm going to do two little swoopy lines, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then I'm going to give each line like a little branch kind of coming out the side going up. You'll see when I when I do it and I'm going to round out the I don't want any harsh angles. So I'm going to round everything out just a little bit to make it more smooth and round. <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all, I don't know what to do with myself. While I'm doing this, let me just tell you, my kiddos are in New York. They left me. <laughs> they spend a few weeks in New York every year uh, with, with family up there, which is great because they need a break from me. I need a break from them and it's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. But their flight, they left yesterday as I'm doing this voiceover. Uh, their flight was a complete and total nightmare. They flew out of Florida heading to New York, right? They had to make a pit stop in Maryland because there was a ton of weather. There were thunderstorms all over the path going to New York. They were stuck on the plane in Maryland for six hours. So their two hour flight to New York took almost 10 hours because of freaking weather. And I, they were fine. Like, they're fine. They're texting me on the plane. My son is making friends with everybody. My daughter is watching movies. She downloaded a bunch of movies before she went. My little one was like, this is how I go out. She was freaking out a little bit, mostly because she has social anxiety like I do. But she made friends with a wonderful grandma sitting next to her who gave her gummy bears, so she was happy. But I was freaked out. I was freaked out for the entire time they were on this plane. I couldn't breathe until they landed in New York and my mother scooped them up and they were safe, but it was a nightmare. So they're gone. They're in New York. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm like a lost puppy walking around my house. So once I have the lines where I want them real quick, I'm going to go ahead and cure. I like to cure black gel for a full minute just because it is super opaque and I want to make sure it's cured all the way through. Then I'm going to take some white gel polish and my littlest, tiniest dotting tool and we're going to make some itty bitty little dots in those black lines. You want to use a super light hand and just a tiny bit of product when you're doing this because you don't want the dots to get connected. That's the last thing you want to do. You want to keep them as separate as possible. So anyway, the kids are there. I'm walking around like a lost puppy in my house because I'm so used to the chaos. It's always crazy and chaotic in my house. My kids always have friends over. And I, there's always no less than, I don't know, five, six, seven kids in my house at a time, which I love. My kids' friends are all absolutely amazing humans. I love all of them. They're like my other, my other children. My kids joke that I have 14 kids because I, I kind of do. I just adopt all the neighborhood kids. They're all mine now. So it's, it's, I don't know what to do. What do you guys do when you don't have kids at home? I'm not used to this. I have my kids 24 seven. So it's crazy to not have them. Should we do a live? I haven't done a live in a while. Maybe we should do a live at some point. Let me know if that's something you guys want to do. Anyway, once I get the dots how I like them, I went ahead and cured that for 30 seconds. And now I'm going to go in with gel base coat. If you wanted to do a matte top coat, you could do a matte top coat over this. But I find for some reason matte top coat will pull pigment and make it kind of smear and streak. And I didn't want that to happen with these lines and dots. So I'm gonna do a gel base coat first. I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna go in with the matte top coat, matte these out completely, and wait till you see how gorgeous they look mattified, and wait till you see the glow. So after 60 seconds, this is what the nail comes out looking like. The matte is immaculate. It is so good. I love this matte top coat. I went ahead and I did the entire hand. I know, I'm crazy. <laughs> I, I had no intention. Actually, I had a completely different idea for this set. I went up doing a gorgeous ombre. I'll leave pictures in here somewhere um, of the of like a nude color and the orange and it looks beautiful but I'm like no I want a whole hand of butterflies <laughs> so that's what I did. I hope you guys like the video. Here's the glow. Uh, I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.